and we're doing something a little bigger today and it's been something that I've actually wanted since they've started to become a little more mainstream and it's actually one of these you know large portable power stations that you can get and there's a couple of reasons that I wanted one number one is that um, in the winter here where we live there can be some power outages and because of that this year I've really been trying to focus or purchase a bunch of different kind of battery options that I can use just in case we have power failures anything from you know just a couple hours to we've had power outages that last for a couple days so ho hopefully that doesn't happen of course uh, that was number one for us but I also do little product shoots and things like that away from here and sometimes power is not always something that is easily accessible so being able to bring your own little power bank that can actually power all your gear can be really nice and last but not least sometimes you just want to go camping or go on a little road trip and knowing that you have a whole bunch of power that's available to you when you're out in the middle of wherever can be can be super awesome so we bought this one go labs um, the go labs r300 i believe is is the, the name here it comes in a black orange version or you can see it here in the all black I believe, I can't even remember now, uh, I think I got the all black version. Right now it's getting four and a half stars, 19 ratings. But the reason I chose kind of this one, which is one of, one of the reasons, is I've been watching these and watching the prices. So you'll actually see here, uh, it has here in Canada an $80 coupon. So it brought this down to really close to around the $300 mark, 320 bucks. So I was like, okay, that seems really good. And uh, I jumped on it. Here, here it is, right? Yeah, I'm a, I'm pretty excited to try this. So the R300 portable power station. We're gonna, we're gonna crack it open, see what it looks like. We're gonna power it up, and then I'm actually going to uh, take it in the other room, and we're going to uh, see, see how it does. All right, coming up. All right, my friends, so here, here's the box. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. It's it's larger, of course. Go Labs R300 portable power station. Powers your devices, it powers your outdoor. So if you're outdoors and you're like, the outdoor's not working. Good stuff, emergency. All kind of the things that I was looking for. And I wasn't really sure how heavy this was gonna be, but it's it's actually surprisingly not heavy. It's easy to carry with one hand. Even the box comes with a handle which is nice uh, flip it over same stuff on the other side so there you go nice and easy cracking this open there is some tape on here so we're just gonna open this up here this this I am excited for this is one of those things like I said I've been waiting all year for one of these to kind of go on go on sale but they seem to be so in demand that nobody was putting them on sale so $80 off right now. This coupon was the same. I think I got the black one. So it is what it is. Okay, Go Labs. So I'm just gonna move this off to the side. Uh, Go Labs R300 portable power generator user manual. So there it is. Nice and large. You guys can see that, I think. That's probably in the way. The light's probably not hitting it. But nice large manual. Seems to have everything on there that you would need. You can also get, uh, and it's optional, uh, a solar charger. So that's kind of nice if you're wanting to be totally off the grid. Very cool, but I like that they give you a big manual. That's nice. What else are we getting here? I'm just going to take everything out of the box. So a bunch of styrofoam. We get some stuff there. Some more stuff. Styrofoam is going in the garbage here. Well, well packaged, which is, which is super nice. And a handle. So this is all coming out. It's all going on the, all going on the ground. Oh, see? I'm so happy. Should I be this happy? I think so. You know, when there's something you've been wanting for a couple months and you finally get it, it's worth the wait. So, on the back, as you can see, it and I didn't even really notice this, it has a little light. It's, it's, it's not light by any means, but it's not bad. So if we turn this on, I'm gonna kinda just, I'm gonna show it so you guys can see it here. Well, before we turn it on, what's in here? What is in here? So we get, um, oh, so these must be like maybe charging cables. So this one here is a 12 volt or cigarette style charging cable. 
This one here is a, I, I don't even know what this one is. No idea what that one's for. But you get, you get that one. So that's, that's handy. Keep them in the box, I guess, just in case, so that you know where they are. Now, the nice thing about this is, as I was reading, you can charge it through the input for sure. But I believe on the, uh, yeah, see the PD 30 watt, the actual USB-C charger, this one here, uh, it's a 60 watt uh, input output. So it can actually also be charged through a USB-C cable. So that's kind of handy. And then there's your, there's your standard charger. So you got three kinds of chargers, which is great. Uh, I still don't really know what this one is. Anybody, you can see this? I'll bring it out of the bag. That looks like some kind of weird specialty charger somehow. I'm not even sure what that is, but it's got one. If you know what it is, leave a comment down below. I'm always, I'm always excited to learn. Again, there's your 12 volt, awesome. And then there's your standard one. And here it is. Now, I wonder if this has any charge in it already. So, we do have your DC on off. These are your 12 volts. Does that have anything to do with this maybe? No, no, no. Uh, your input right there, your USB on off, if you want to use that. You have two USB 3.0 quick charges, it looks like, uh, and you have two USB-Cs, which is nice. And last but not least, of course, you have the 110 uh, Pure CineWave. <laughs> and honestly, this is great for me because I'm gonna have like possibly two lights, which may plug into this, so that works really well. And then a, an assortment of USB-C style stuff. And I also have a bunch of USB-C hubs. So I can probably plug those in and let the hubs charge. Plus you get your 12 volt right there, which is also really good. If you want to use, you know, something that goes into that little, that little section, you're off and running. And if we hold this, and I did get the black version. See, I got the black version. Hold that maybe on off. See if it works. Oh, beep. All right, so you may have noticed the change on the background and myself and all kinds of things because we've zoomed ahead. We've zoomed ahead about two months. Oh yeah, so we're not in the future. This is the present. That was in the past when I bought it. But I really wanted to get into this charger after I've had a chance to, well, really be using it for a while. And I've actually been using this thing a lot. Uh, and first, first, first and foremost, um, remember when I said this had an $80 off coupon, which was awesome. Right now, you guys probably, 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 blah, 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 probably see it, $120 off. So good thing I waited, right? Good thing I waited for you fine folks out there. Now you save 40 bucks more than you would have saved before. So that's awesome. Um, so output wattage on this 300 watts, uh, you get it in black and orange, like we said. If we come down here to look at some of the specs, uh, 60 watt PD quick charge and versatility options. Um, it is, I think, for power. And I wanna see if I have the box here somewhere. Just one sec, one sec. I'm just kinda looking at the specs here. So battery capacity, it's got a sticker on it. So that's that's useful. 299 watt hours, rated power 300 water, waters, watts. Uh, DC 12, DC 15 uh, watts, 15 something, I got a sticker, maybe 15 volts, 3.2 amps, USB output, USB 1 plus USB 2, uh, 5 volt, 3 amps, 9 volt, 2 amps, 12 volt, 1.5 amps, DC output, 12 volts, 10 amps, type C output, 30 watt max, and then there's a type C2, which is 60 watts, and output is 300 watts. So, very cool. Uh, and I have to say, like I said, I've been using this thing now for the last few months. I'm trying to think here what it has for like total power. So here we go, capacity, 299 watt hours, uh, 93,437 milliamp hours. So it's, it's, a good, it's a good size battery, right? So not something that you just normally find. Plus, one of the big things about this, if you don't mind the size, is the fact that it can do AC, which which is huge. So we'll talk about that in a second. So I've been again. This is this has got a little bit of a drain to it right now because I, I well I use it. So 
turn this on for you guys. And you'll see here, right now I'm sitting at 29% because again, I've been using it. It tells me doing what it's doing right now, just kind of existing, you'll see the hours, right? 15, 18, it's gonna keep going up, 23, 27, because there's no wattage putting out. So let's let's say for instance, we have this fine, this fine uh, Nintendo Switch, right? So I plug this in, excellent. And I take this and you'll notice that there's an AC on off as well as USB. So if you just plug it in, you have to tell it to turn those on. So we're gonna say, turn the AC on. You'll see a little AC thing pop up there. Plug this in. And my hope is, boom, right there, right? See how we got a four watt, five watt? So this, now, you may or may not be able to see it, it's charging. So not pulling a lot. This is pulling only like five watts of power, so not very much at all. So let's, let's do something different. Let's take this and we'll take this out. This should go back down as it did down to zero. I'm gonna plug in my laptop with this and I, and I don't know what this cable's rated at. It may be a hindrance, but we'll plug this in my laptop and three, 13, 17, 21, 23, right? And, and this is gonna be limited on this power plug as well, because this is only, I believe, a 20 watt power plug. So it only allows 20 watts to go through it. Um, I've been using actually the the bottom one here, the, the USB-C port to charge the battery a lot. So, but it's been working. Try your cables too. Different cables will have different kind of power abilities to kind of go back and forth. Hey, you know what? It's been working working like, like a champ. And here's a few things. So I'm gonna put that back down there. I'll turn this up here so you guys can see that maybe a little better. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. Um, is this one better? Maybe this one's better. Here, a few things. You do have how many hours left, which is gonna, which is always gonna be good because if you plug it in and you know it says two hours, then just be aware. Maybe you want to turn the power down, or maybe you don't want to plug that in, or maybe you got too much plugged in. Uh, I've literally had both these lights plugged in, and they pull about 20 watts each, so that was okay. I've had my laptop plugged in, so it's been charging. Um, my phone plugged into it, so it's been charging, and you still get like six, eight hours, something like that, so plenty, plenty of juice. Um, and here's another one that was really cool, and not probably something that everybody would use this for, but the beginning of spring, for instance, I took my motorcycle out of the garage, I just kind of pulled it out, because we were, as more, many of you know, we're moving. So we were trying to get everything out of the garage so that we could throw everything in to uh, pack it full of boxes. And what happened is that I pulled it out, which was great, went to turn it on and it was, the battery was dead. So I was like, oh, I should have checked that maybe when it was in the garage, because now it's too far from power because my power's only in there. And I could have went and got an extension cord, but I was like, I wonder, I wonder if I put this and I use this with one of those little tiny chargers to charge my motorcycle battery. And then once that was done, I used it to charge my wife's motorcycle's battery. So this could be really cool. Let's say if you are traveling and, and uh, you know, you're camping with your bike or you're going on a cross country tour or whatever, and you got a lot of crap like I do plugged into your motorcycle, which means that it's Sometimes it's drawing more than it's charging. Um, slowly, and over time, it may be a hindrance, but you're out camping and doing your stuff and you're on a, you know, a multi-week trip, throw that in your trunk or whatever. It's, cause it's, it's, like I said, it's a bit heavy, but it's doable. And at night, you just kind of plug your bike into here with your little charger and you can continually just make sure your battery's topped up. Yeah, I went from nothing, dead battery, like nothing, no no clicky clicky sound, no nothing, to fully charged. Now it took probably a little bit overnight, like a full night, right? So like 20 hours or something like that, but it did it. That's that's the key, it did it, and that's from completely empty. So that's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm a fan, you know what, are there other ones that do the same thing and, and maybe they have other features? Possibly, I don't know, but um, for the price, the fact that right now you're getting this for like 200, right now, $280. I don't think there's anyone out there that has this kind of capacity and does what this one does for, for that price point. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna use this a lot and I may actually buy a second one because at that price, um, it's not a bad option to have in your home for if something happens like well, like a power outage, which is what probably most of us would use it for. 
or you just want two batteries because you're going to go on a, a long camping trip and having extra power is always good because for me filming stuff every day i could literally with one of these especially if i had two of these power all my lights power all my audio gear and probably have enough power to keep my laptop charged for a couple days without without having any power to the house yeah that's that's awesome all right guys this is a look at the go labs from the past and the future mm -hmm. that's right i did it two months review it took me two months to play with this and enjoy it so power on and off 12 volt all kinds of outputs usb3 usb-c ac your rock and roll and if this is on i think right this is on this this little guy right here for camping boom Whew. light so you're out camping or you're or you're 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 on that stretch a stretch a road on your bike stretch a road bike breaks down well you can give yourself some power and you got light so you can see stuff yeah so oh and a flash my eyes can't not not holy moly can't that's turn it off you get what i'm saying all right guys i'm gonna leave links down below to this this is awesome i really like it the go labs uh, r300 comes with the power station an ac wallet charger a carport cable maybe that's what that thing was carport no mc4 solar charging cable that's the cable for the solar charger now remember i was like what the heck is that that's the cable for the solar charger even cooler all right guys that's it i'm gonna leave you there i'm uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go now because links down below go buy one if you think you want one because because you do and uh that's it like comment share subscribe hit the little bell and we will see you fine folks tomorrow later my friends